The more the people of this country suffer at the hands of their cost of living crisis, the angrier they will get with this party, with their culture of partying at number 10. From no law breaking to 126 fines, will he confirm that any minister who has been issued with a fine will come to this House at the earliest possible opportunity? Yeah. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, uh, I thank the honourable gentleman for his question. I mean, he says that the government is taking no action on the global inflation challenge that we face. Uh, you know, I think £22 billion worth of support is a huge in- intervention. But I understand why the honourable gentleman is feeling a little bit excitable this week. It's not been a great week for the Scottish National Party. Uh, we, we continue with the ferry building fiasco, which has now been going for five years. We, the the uh, SNP leader has been touring the US to explain how an independent Scotland will join NATO with no military of its own, a sort of uh, observation nation, I think, uh, is what there would be. They, they've recently nationalised their rail industry, uh, only to cut a third of the uh, of the rail uh, passenger services, uh, and they finally acknowledge that they're failing students uh, in Scotland as they give up on their flagship election promise to reduce the attainment gap for students from the most deprived area. Uh, uh, Mr. Speaker, unlike their ferries, I think the SNP are all at sea.